We're going to take a look at how we can use the TI-84 in order to perform a linear regression or get a line of best fit. Before we start, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have diagnostics turned on. You really only have to do this one time, and let's see how you do it. We do second and then the catalog key. Notice the catalog key is zero, so we do second zero. Then we arrow down the list until we get to diagnostics on. And so we go right down. Here we go, diagnostic on. We hit enter to select it, and then we hit enter again. Now it'll give us our correlation coefficient later on. This is a step you only need to do once. Once you've done this, you shouldn't have to do it again. Now let's begin the actual process of the linear regression. We begin by entering our data by pushing the stat key and then selecting edit. If there's data in your table, you should arrow up and highlight the name of the column. Press clear and then enter. You can do that to the next column if there's anything in it. Go up to the top so the name of the list is highlighted. Hit clear and press enter. We're now ready to enter our information. Our X's go in the first column. And our Y's go in the second column. Once we've entered our data, we're ready to look at the scatter plot. To look at the scatter plot, we push second, and then the scatter plot key that's up here above the y equals. Notice right up here it says that the plot is turned off. Normally that's what you'll leave it at, but not for scatter plots. We have to hit enter and select on. Once you've selected on, you press the zoom key, which is in the middle and arrow down to zoom stat number nine. That will give you your scatter plot, which is basically the points plotted on the coordinate plane. Now we're ready to create our equation. To write our equation, we simply hit the stat key again, arrow over to calculate, and then arrow down to linear regression ax plus b. Now, at this point, one of two things will happen, depending on the operating system your calculator has. Either a table will come up, which asks you L1 for the first list, L2 for the second list, and you just basically enter down to the bottom and hit enter. Or if you have an older operating system like I do, you'll have to put some information in. In my case, the names of the lists were L1 and L2. And you'll notice down here, L1 is above the one key. L2 is above the 2 key. So we go second L1, comma, second L2, because those are the lists where my information was. If the table comes up, it'll automatically fill this in for you. Then hit enter. Here it's giving you the equation. The value A is about 1.05. So we have y equals 1.05x plus b, b is 3.59. So we have y equals 1.05x plus 3.57. Finally, notice at the bottom we have a correlation coefficient given by the letter r. Our correlation is 0.9896. And so that tells us, because it's very close to 1, that not only is it positive, but it's also a very strong correlation. And that's how you use the TI-84 to perform a linear regression.